What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would do a quick video showing some of the improvements, upgrades, that I've made to my Harbor Freight engine stand. And that's part of it. Let's get into it. All right, so let's just go ahead and start at the bottom and work our way up. So the first thing I did was replace my ratty old steel wheels with some poly wheels. Now this thing used to sound like a freight train rolling around my garage. When I lived in California, I did all, pretty much all my work outside. My garage floor was jacked up, so the steel wheels really took a beating. Now I replaced them with these poly wheels. Now this is an older style Harbor Freight engine stand and it's rated at a thousand pounds. So I don't know what's available now. I'll have to go, you know, go take a look. But I believe, if I remember right, the two front swivel mounted poly casters are rated at 300 pounds each and the ones I added to the back I believe are like 325, 350 ish, something like that. So all I did was, so I started with the front ones and I just unbolted the old casters and the new casters unfortunately didn't line up with the bolt holes. So I just had to go ahead, because the base is larger, I just went ahead and, and welded the bottom ones on there. As far as the back ones go, the axles used to stick out just beyond the tubes and the wheels were just slid onto the cast, slid onto the axle with a clip holding it on. So these, what I did was I, I notched the tube and I welded in the wheel, the caster and all. These are fixed wheels. So there you can see I notched it and I just welded it in place. Now, of course, I do have some concern that it may buckle right here, but I think that with it being welded on the inside and across the top, and then the bolt going through, it should be more than enough to hold it. If I have issues, then I will add a gusset across the top, but I don't think it'll come to that. So the second mod that I did is you can see these pieces of angle iron just tacked to the main tube. And that is to hold one of these tubs that I picked up from Harbor Freight. Now, working with this engine stand was always annoying that with that center tube or center bar, adding some sort of catch can underneath it was always a pain. I always ended up making a mess all over the floor. So I decided to get one of these tubs and just to help it kind of give it a little more width so it was easier to balance on there, I added those tabs. And then I decided to pick up two of these, I believe they're like 18 inch tool magnets and they just sit in there and that will help hold that tub in place. I think that tub at Harbor Freight was like eight bucks and the tool magnets, a lot of times you can get them, uh, they'll be on sale or whatever, but so I decided to use them in this application and that really just helps to kind of help hold that tub in place. So that's the second mod that I did. The third mod that I did, there was a lot of play between this front tube and where it slides into the back. Now there's a bolt that comes up from the bottom, but there's, as you can see, there's a big gap. Let me see if I can focus in on that a little bit. There's a really big gap between this tube and where it slides in there. So all I did was I took a piece of, it was like one inch wide by eighth inch thick, just flat stock. I cut it like three or four inches and I just tacked it into place inside there. And now there's, there's no play between that junction. Even when it was bolted before, there was a lot of play there. And it's, this thing would, would kind of bend right there with any weight on the engine stand. So I just added that piece of flat stock as a shim, tacked it in place and that now has that all secure. And I know, I need to finish cleaning this thing up. I need to add, add a little bit of paint to those welds and some of that bare steel, but that'll get done at some point. So the fourth mod that I did was, I picked up one of these worm gear hand winches. I think it was like 35 bucks. Took it apart and I just repurposed it. Now I took the, the center section, you know, the, the spool for the cable, and the other one side is here the gear is the gear 
and the other side I just ground down so it fit inside the tube, so it just slides right in there. And then I decided to weld the gear to the end piece here. This is where the handle used to go. I decided to weld that there. Now, in my infinite wisdom, I was like, oh, take this thing apart, throw it on my, my bench, and weld it up. But then I couldn't get it back in the mount, like a dumbass. So I ended up having to cut the tube pretty much right there, put it back together and re-weld it. But it actually worked out. So by having that weld right there, now the whole thing is a lot more solid. It doesn't, it doesn't shift or shimmy inside of the tube. It kind of helps lock it in place, which is good because of the gear drive. So I took the main bracket here, just kind of cut it down, took remounted remounted the gear to the outside of where it used to be, had a drill in a different hole, and now it just mounts up. Now, take that out. And now the whole assembly easily can rotate an engine. And I can still put the pin in, sorta. I do have to kind of mess with that a little bit. But overall, and it actually rotates easier when there's some weight on the front. It just kind of helps mesh the gear to the worm, worm drive. And I just welded the whole thing in place. So there you have it. Four quick and easy mods that I made to my Harbor Freight engine stand. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these. I mean, the only one that I maybe have an issue with are the poly wheels. We'll see. Like I said, they're rated at three, 325 a piece which combined should be just fine for this engine stand, but we'll see. If it becomes an issue, then I'll figure it out and replace them with something else. Let me know also, you know, what improvements or mods you guys have made to your cheap Harbor Freight or other brand engine stands, or really any engine stand for that matter. You can always use the ideas. You know, I'm sure there's other things that might be able to be done to this thing to make it improved, make it work better. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you on the next one.